welcome to my first vlog. I am currently leaving Clemson and driving to Chickamauga and Chattanooga's National Military Park, which is located like on the border of Georgia and Tennessee. And I make this drive about once a week. Um, and I'm going, part of my job here in Clemson is that I've been hired to collect bat acoustic monitoring data. So basically, instead of catching bats in mist nets, I am putting up these little like acoustic detectors and it collects their like echolocation calls and we can read that data and figure out like what species of bat is there, how many there are. It's really awesome and I really love doing it. And the only downside is it's about like a three and a half hour drive from Clemson, so it's a bit of a ways, but usually I just like jam out in the car and have a little fun and I always pack lots of food, like lots of snacks. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you on my typical work day for me. Um, show you like the acoustic monitoring that I do, show you the devices, um, show you how I deploy them and then collect the data and see what it's like to be a bat biologist for the day. I spend half of the time just driving down these little country back roads and it's really so peaceful. I really like it. Sometimes I do get a little car sick, not gonna lie. Lookout Mountain. Ooh. Three and a half hours later. <laughs> oh, it's been a hot car ride. I just arrived at Lookout Mountain and I'm heading to the first acoustic monitor that I'm going to show you, that I'm going to pick up today and show you exactly my protocol. So, I'm following my whoop, GPS and it is going to lead me directly to the point uh, where we placed it and I get to walk along this really pretty path. Yeah, it's, this one is nice. It was nice and close to the road. Um, it's really nice when we have a trail to follow. There's so often <laughs> There's no trail and it's a lot of me hiking through the woods with my backpack and laptop and GPS hoping for the best. So sadly we go off trail now according to the GPS and I always think I look like a crazy person when people see me like this random girl with all this stuff. Oh, I don't know if you can spot it but I already see the acoustic monitor. It's on that silver pole. You see it? Yeah. And it's camouflaged. So here I am at my detector. I've got my laptop, my backpack, my GPS that led me here. And now all I have to do is Take it down, put the chip in the computer, and take it back to the truck. Oh. 
Perfect. So first thing I like to do once I collect my Annabat is open it up, take a look at it. Um, so here's the power button and here are my different recording modes so I can set a schedule for it. Uh, I can set it up to do night only where it collects with a satellite and the satellite actually tells it when to turn on and turn off or to have it be recording continuously. Um, so this piece actually is the microphone that picks up all of the bat acoustics. And so as soon as I'm done, I take off the microphone. It's a little harder to do one-handed. This is a uh, dust cover. So the inside of this is I don't know how well you can see it in the shade of the forest, but you can see the circuit board like underneath this plate. And so they always tell me you have to be super, super careful. Not if you're doing this in the rain, make sure you bring it back to the truck because if the inside of this gets wet, like that's the end. So I turn it off now that we've taken it down and I'm gonna take the SD card out Plug it into the laptop and make sure it collected data. Honestly, my favorite part about this job is probably when I get to just sit, take a moment, and record my data. Made it back to my truck. Oops. Sorry. And I wanted to show you something super wonderful about this truck if so if you unlock it and don't turn on the engine within 10 seconds the alarm will go off oh hey guys you hear that it's counting me down ah. oh no Whew. yeah great great truck there's my box of detectors. This is my hammer that I use to put, to hammer in my poles. Spare batteries. Uh, tape if I get lost so I can mark trails. Um, all my Anabat, here, my Anabat cases. And look at that cool bat symbol. I love that. Yeah, and then I have my rain boots in case it gets really muddy. Uh, water bottle, phone, say hello to my truck. Time for monitor collection number two. <laughs> Can you spot the detector? There it is. I already took down the monitor um, and have taken off the microscope. But, not the microscope, the microphone. <laughs> um, so all I do is power it off. I'm gonna take the SD card out. Plug that into the computer. And make sure it collected everything it needed to. Yay, that is a lot of good data. Just what I came for. And then I finished filling out the data sheet. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish that up and then enjoy this view before I head back to the car. Take down the pole <laughs> and move on to the next one. I will see you guys later. Bye. So it's 5 p.m. I am done with my work for today. I'm back in the hotel room and hopefully you learned a little bit about bat acoustic monitoring today. You got to see what it was like to be a biologist, a bat biologist for the day. And tomorrow I will be going around more of the national park, but I'll be going with a um, actually the superintendent of the park, 
a guy named Jim and I need to ask Jim if he's comfortable with me filming because I would love for you to meet him. I think he's such a funny man, but I can also see him not wanting me to take a camera into the field. So hopefully this vlog will continue tomorrow, but if not, I had a lot of fun today and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Hey Pam, I wanted, oops.